Hi friends, my name is Saran Kumar. Welcome to my channel, The Excelism. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to paste the data into non-adjacent cells. I'm sure you all are aware that we can copy the data from non-adjacent cells, but we cannot paste the data into non-adjacent cells. Let's look into this sample case study. I can copy the data from non-adjacent cells. To select the cells non-adjacent, you can select the first cell, hold the control key, select the second cell, hold control key, select the third cell. You can do control C to copy. Now if I keep the cursor here, if I do control V, these all cells data will be pasted continuous. Let me try this. Let me select the data from non-adjacent cells, copy this data, select the data non-adjacent to where I want to paste. Now can I try, let me do control V, Excel is saying this action won't work on multiple selections. So this is not possible. So you cannot paste the data into non-adjacent cells. Now let me hide this entire data. Let me look into this sample case study. Friends, in this data I have taken the estimated sales. In this case I have taken the revised sales. Wherever there is a name of Saran, I want to get the revised sales figure in this column. Normally what is the method we do? We can simply go manually one after other. It takes a lot of time when the data is used. Otherwise, we take the filter. Let me go to the data tab. Let me click the filter. Now let me click, let me filter for cell. Now I want to copy this data. When you select this data, when you paste it, check it out, everything went wrong. It pasted the same data in every selected cell. That is, this is wrong. Otherwise, in this case, we need to identify what is the common item between this table and this table. Now let me filter out the Sharon again. Now I have to identify the common between this table and this table. But the Sharon name is repeating. But three items are here, three items are here. That's the only common point. But no common reference between this table and this table. Now I need to build something which is common between this table and this table. And also that must be unique in the same table. So I am you, I'm inserting one more column. You can just use the shortcut control plus enter. Now let me take here the row number. What is the function to get the row number? I can simply take the function equal to row. Open bracket, close bracket. Copy and paste. So this is the third row because I'm writing the formula in the third row. This is the fifth row. I got an answer five. This is eighth row. So I got the answer eight. Now what I can simply do, control C. Let me paste here control V. Now I can simply use the VLOOKUP function equal to VLOOKUP. Look for this value where within this data, let me click F4 to make it absolute cell references. Come in this table, I want to get the third column value as an answer 3 comma 0. 0 is an exact match because I am exactly looking for the value. Let me close bracket, enter copy and paste right now let me clear the filter trade out wherever saran is there you got the data so i feel this is one of the nice technique using the row number let's go into this data in this data I have area date amount sales rep and reference number the reference number is there into this sheet if you observe, Maruti reference is having 15 items. That means here when I filter the name Maruti, exactly I got the same 15. 
But these all are the duplicates. You cannot simply use the VLOOKUP function considering Maruti because Maruti is repeating. So what I need to do in this case, let me insert one more column here. Okay, so let me take a row number equal to row open bracket close bracket enter copy go down control V. I've just selected the data I did control V. Now let's go to the reference sheet. Insert one column here. Let me have the row. Here also let me insert one column, let me insert one column, let me insert one more column and let me also insert one more column. I am doing this because my data is one after other. If your data is one below other, your job is very simple. Now let me filter the Maruti first. Let me filter the Maruti. Copy this entire data. Go to the reference. Paste here. Now select the Naresh from the filter, copy these entire rows, go to the reference, paste for the Naresh. Now go to the data, filter for Saran, control C. Now go to the reference, control V. Now go back to the data, filter for Satish, copy this entire data, go to the reference, control V. Finally, filter for the last unique person, Vineet, control C. Now, do control V. Now, these all are the row numbers for the each respective sales rep. Now, I want to get the reference. Now, what I can simply do? I can use the VLOOKUP function. First, let me use the VLOOKUP function for Maruti equal to VLOOKUP. Look for this value where go to the sheet, select this data. This is a relative cell reference. To make it absolute, let me put F4, comma. In this data, the second column I should get as an answer. So 2, comma, 0, close bracket, enter. Copy and paste. Just stick it out to make this out of it. I'm using a shortcut called O. C A. Now let me select for the second person Naresh. So let me select this entire place equal to VLOOKUP. Look for this value where go to the reference. Now select this entire data belongs to the Naresh. Click F4 to make it absolute, comma. My answer is there in the second column, comma, zero, close bracket, enter. Now, let me filter for the third person, Saran, equal to VLOOKUP. Look for this value. Go to the reference sheet. Now, let me select the Saran data. F4, 2, 0. I'm looking for an exact match. Copy and paste. Now, filter for the Satish. I'll do the same, equal to VLOOKUP, look for this value, go to the sheet, let us take the Satish data, F4, comma, second column value as an answer. Copy this and paste. Now finally, let me filter for Vineet, let me do the same, equal to VLOOKUP, look for this value, go to the next sheet, let me take the Vineet data, F4, comma 2, comma 0. Copy and paste. Now remove the filter. This is the data exactly we got from this sheet. This is one way through which you can write the formula for each and every person. Okay, here we have five members. So we have written the VLOOKUP formula, different formulas for each person. Otherwise, there is a different method which I can even follow by using the indirect method. What I'm going to do now, I will just go to the reference. Let me select this data. Let me give the name as a Maruti. Define the name. Let me select this data. So let me select this data. This is belongs to the Naresh. Let me give the define the name as Naresh. 
let me select this data i'm sorry let me select this data let me give the defined name as seven and also let me select this data let me give the defined name as satish finally select this data give the defined name as vinit now what i can do i'll go to the data i can simply write one single formula equal to vlookup i need to look for this value comma now i need to because this person is vinit right so ideally i should look into this table right the name i have already given as vinit now what excel does excel look for this value in the leftmost column of this vinit table now my vinit table is i and j column data so my leftmost column is i column from that it's going to get second column value as an answer enter but when you copy and paste it is not available because it is still looking from the vinit column i have to make this dynamic that means when i copy and paste this this table array must be depending on the sales rep so what i'll be doing i'll use the indirect function so let me go here this vinit i'll keep it into indirect function so indirect let me select this close bracket what this indirect function does this is the text inside the indirect function this vinit the text will pass through the indirect function this indirect function converts the text into the reference now let me select this d2 and put f9 you will get to know at the back end in the double quotation vinit appeared that means it's a text when you select this and put f9 you will get the entire array of the vinit you go and check it out this is what exactly the table of the vinit so instead of this let me select vinit when i copy and paste this data below d2 will become d3 it automatically consider maruti table array when i copy and paste below it will again consider vinit when i further copy paste below it consider satish let me enter copy this paste this now let me have the same format okay that's fine now let me have the color the same yellow color just or else maybe something different just for the identification i'm sorry now let me cross check whether these two are same or not this equal to this even if you want to be consider very exact with the case then you can use the exact function because when you put this is equal to this this is not a case sensitive though it may be true if somewhere even this is upper case k this and this both are matching when you use equal sign so now let me use exact function just to cross check this comma this close bracket enter this is a case sensitive equal to is not a case sensitive copy and paste below now let me put the filter this is the check 2 with exact function this is the check 1 now let me select this entire data put the filter now let me go to check 2 check it out everything is true even check 1 everything is true right i feel this is one of the method which is very simple to paste the data into non adjacent cells row function is one of the very important thing here thank you so much please subscribe my channel see you in the next video